Hi Scorpio, welcome to your singles love reading for November. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So let's take a look into the life of the singles, single Scorpio. See what's going on with you. So what I'm going to do here, Scorpio, is take a look at your energy, then the energy around you. So I'm just going to take whatever comes out here. So it could be someone returning. It could be somebody totally new coming into your energy. It could be someone you're crushing on, someone crushing on you, someone you're dating, getting to know, whatever comes out. Uh, so this is only going to resonate for those who feel like it resonates for. So please do keep that in mind. If this does resonate for you, Scorpio, there will be an extended reading. And I will tell you about that at the end of this reading. So I'm going to do here, Scorpio, is pull one oracle card from each deck. So this could be your energy. It could be somebody's energy around you. It could be the energy of somebody new coming into you. So take it how it resonates for you. And then we'll get to the tarot. And we'll look into the um, energy further for Scorpios. And there are, are uh, timestamps down below. So if you want to get right to the reading, feel free. Um, or if you want to watch certain parts over, skip around. Pin top comment and description box. So this is intended for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. Wow. General collective reading. So please only take it how it resonates for you. Again, like everything in here may not resonate. If you feel like it's something from the past that you don't want back, then it's probably not your reading. Just putting that out there. And I will mention the signs as I see them. So please only take them how they resonate for you. It could be signs in your chart, somebody else's chart or just the energy. So everything you need to know, Scorpio, about me and my channel is down below in the description box in the pin top comment. Please do check all that out. Be greatly, greatly appreciated. Everything you need to know is down there. So welcome, Scorpio. Hope everyone is doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I know your birthday... Uh, a couple more weeks, I guess, birthday season for Scorpio. I am filming this on Election Day, so hoping for the best. All right, let's get one more oracle here. Let's see what's going on for you, Scorpio. Again, if this to you sounds like something from the past, could be past, present, or future, but I'm looking at the energy now. Uh, if it's something from the past you don't want back, again, it's probably not your reading. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, general collective, or Scorpio singles at this time. All right, let's see what we have for you, Scorpio. All right, so we have here Will. Somebody's name could be Will. 30, expression, assertiveness, self-control, direction. And we have 30, which is 3-3 three, three to me. is about teamwork, collaboration, working together, learning something new, uh, reuniting, coming together, socializing, um, that kind of energy. So somebody here either really wants to be assertive and express how they feel. We have blue here, which represents the throat chakra. Or somebody's trying to control themselves um, from taking that direction to really express to somebody. Um, how they feel. We have here a study, reading, research, and education help you gain confidence, clarity about your career. But I feel like somebody could be um, in school or taking online classes or learning something new, just learning something new in general. We have here Archangel Michael. It's coming right out here for protection. So... Archangel Michael is here for protection, divine clarity. I just want to look up a little bit about um, protection, truth, justice, and power. So I feel like Archangel Michael is looking over this reading for you, Scorpio. So this may be very important to you, and if, especially if you work with Archangel Michael. Maybe you need to learn to... Maybe you need to learn some new things, study up on new things, having that will, that determination, not giving up, or it could be uh, energy of someone around you. Someone could work in law enforcement, um, the justice system, medical field, um, services, anything like that. Counselor, someone could be a counselor, a guidance counselor, 
um, a mentor, someone that uses their mind, a teacher. All right, Scorpio. Let's take a look at your energy for the single Scorpios. Oh, that's a little, just a little too much. Little too much. <laughs> All right, well, we got three. Okay, I'll take three. So we have the Ace of Cups. So you're ready for a brand new beginning in love. Brand spanking new. Eight of Pentacles here. So you're wanting to, you're ready to put in the work on a brand new beginning in love to work on a relationship. But we do have the Devil here. That's your energy. No, it's not. That's <laughs> Capricorn. I don't know what I'm thinking. So why is the Devil here? Why is the Devil here? So it's either the Four of Wands. That's my soulmate twin flame card, or that's just a very um, stable home life. It can be dating, getting to know. Maybe there's somebody that you're dating, getting to know, but you're not serious yet. Um, but we do have the devil here. So somebody has fear, doubt, worry. It could be a very strong, passionate connection also. I feel like... I feel like we have somebody here. Let me just get a couple from the bottom of the deck. Further. Two of Pentacles. Okay. And the Queen of Cups. So that could be your energy. It's usually Cancer, but it can be um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So I feel like here that, you know, you're ready to, ready, you know, for something sincere, you know, brand new beginning in love, you know, putting the work in. You're just dating, getting to know, you know, seeing how it goes down the road here. But somebody could be juggling here. And it could be, you know, it doesn't have to be a third party. Like, there's three people involved. I'm not really getting that. Somebody could just be, sorry, working a lot, have a lot of responsibilities. That could be you. And maybe you just don't have time to invest, you know, put the work into a new relationship. But you definitely could be out there dating. Or it could be somebody that you're dating that you want more with. And they just got too much going on in their life. And they don't know how to fit it in. But there could be a strong, fiery, passionate connection here between the two of you with this devil energy. Or this devil energy is somebody has fear about uh, working on a new relationship. And trying to balance out that energy. Alright, so let's see where this is going to go. So let's see what energy is around you although that is your energy so I feel like I feel like you could have a little bit of fear about uh, investing and working on a new relationship maybe you're just concentrating on you your home life your your career you know maybe you got a lot going on you know your family you know your friends your family your career and everything but you are in the Queen of Cups energy, which is a good energy, you know, very intuitive. You know, you have a good heart. You're loving, caring, compassionate. You really care about those uh, you love and those around you. You have a lot to give to others. But when it comes to a relationship, that's different, <laughs> I feel. All right. But yet you still want it. You want it, but yet you don't want it. I don't know if that makes sense. All right. I think it's time to, you know, what direction do you want? <laughs> All right. So what energy is around you? Maybe, you know, Arch Archangel Michael is here probably to give you clarity on you, your situation, maybe what you need to work on, what you need to heal. Seven of Pentacles. Could be somebody uh, you work with. Page of Swords. So I just saw that on the bottom of the deck. Ten of Cups. Yeah. Do do I invest or do I, do I not invest in Ten of Cups? <laughs> Total happiness, joy, fulfillment. Page of Swords. So maybe you know somebody was upfront and honest with you and express to you that they liked you or somebody could be uh, watching you spying on you not in a creepy way but you know checking you out on online and things like that especially if you work with them 
Yes, Page of Swords here. Somebody definitely could be learning something new. Ten of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles right side by side. Wow. All right, one more. One more. Two of Cups. Soulmate you. Okay, somebody around you may have offered you something or expressed you how they felt. Finally took that direction. Maybe they were controlling themselves, holding back for a long time. And now they're like, I just got to tell Scorpio how I feel. Maybe they've been like kind of like studying you in a way, uh, trying to learn about you. It's become clear to them here with Archangel Michael. And now they may want to if they haven't yet, or maybe they have. And you're like, well, I'm just kind of single over here, working on myself, doing my own thing, balancing out my home life. I'm not ready for, you know... A brand new beginning in love. Can I fit that into my life? I just I just don't know. All right. Again, if you feel like, I mean, if you need to switch the energies around, if this is somebody else you're dealing with, that could be in that energy, but I am reading that as you. But you do have that brand new beginning in love here. Ace of Swords. So there's my divine clarity from Source. Successful new beginning. Awakening, epiphany, aha moment. Cutting away things no longer serving. Open, honest communication. Six of Cups. Someone returning <coughs> from the past. Past life soulmate. Could be somebody returning from the past or some of you. So we have the Four of Swords and the Fool. So you're thinking about taking the sleep of faith. Aquarius energy here. Do I or don't I take the sleep of faith? I just don't know. So you're thinking, healing, contemplating on um, something here. Somebody communicated to you. And you're not sure if you're ready to take that leap. <coughs> See, if someone hasn't... My throat was getting so tickly. Oh my God. <coughs> if somebody hasn't... I, I got to get a drink communicated to you yet yeah, they're about to because they just can't take it anymore because my throat feels like it's just going crazy so if they haven't you can expect communication so we have here um we don't even really have many signs just aquarius the fool we don't even have any court cards here we do have the Page of Swords, which can be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, so they could be an air sign. The Sun, Leo energy here. This could lead to your ultimate fulfillment here. Happiness, joy, healing, enlightenment, success, victory, happy home and family, growth, expansion, everything positive with the Sun. But I feel like, you know, maybe it came as a little bit of, um, okay, now we've got a King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So this is Leo again. So now we have two cards of Leo. And there's that solid offer with the Page of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Seven of Wands, but I feel like you're kind of putting your walls up against this offer. Knight of Wands. Maybe you're the one that just wants to have, you know, something light and you don't want anything serious. Sagittarius energy here. That can sometimes be a player in and out, someone not committal, or someone just going after what they want. So you could be the one that could be like, well, you know, <clears throat> I don't mind having something light and fun, but I'm not really ready for anything serious. Because that devil could be like a strong, passionate connection. But here's the Ace of Pentacles. So this person, I think, is serious. You know, they're serious. They want long-term connection here. But you may, you know, end it here with the Ten of Swords and leave them out in the cold. And so now we got the moon, Pisces. We got the sun and the moon. So we have divine feminine and divine masculine uh, matching counterparts. So somebody with the king cups here definitely had um, feelings for you that they held back with the moon kept secret for a very long time. A very long time. And they just can't take it anymore. They've been holding back, holding back, holding back. Maybe, you know, they're concentrating on themselves also. But finally they've been enlightened here. And they're like, I just can't, can't hold back anymore because we've got the Eight of Wands. So, you know, coming in quick with communication, online communication, um, Cupid's Arrows. Again, it could be somebody you work with, the King of Pentacles energy here. 
So now I have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This is Virgo. So, oops. Okay, these are falling out. Yeah, Eight of Cups walking away. Two of Swords, unable to make a decision. Two of Wands, being at a cross. So you don't know whether or not you want this. You're like, I don't know if I'm ready for this. I don't know if I want this. And this person definitely um, has liked you for a long, long time. And they're ready to come forward if they have not yet already. And you could be checking this rating out like, should I take a chance on this or should I not? So we're going to go into the uh, extended now Scorpio. So if this resonated for you, links are below in the pinned top comment in the description box. And I will pull three new oracles for you in the extended. And I will look at, um, I think we have just about all the signs here. We have wands, we have uh, pentacles, we have the swords, um, the king of pentacles, king of cups, the king of wands. We have the page of, yeah, we got like all this, all the um, energy here. So I'll probably just do a general reading to see, you know, if you should take a chance on this. And if you do, where is it going to go from here? What are their intentions? What do they want with this connection? Where is it going to go? Any heal, any um, blockages or anything like that, for the future of this connection. And I'll use a separate tarot deck for that. And I'll also pull you some divine energy oracle messages of it, advice and guidance from the universe, spirit and see what's going to happen here. So links are below to Vimeo or Patreon. Vimeo is a one at a time purchase. Patreon is a monthly membership, but you get access to all my extenders from all my readings on YouTube. Beginning of the month is the best time to join since they charge on the first of every month. So no, no matter what time of the month you join, they're going to charge you then and then again on the first. So I always say Beginning of the month is the best time to join if that's something you're interested in. So if you're interested in the extended, extended links are below. I'll see you there. If not, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And always, always shine your light.